My name is Daystar Rosalie Jones, and I identify myself as a Native American choreographer, dancer, teacher, and writer. I was born on the Blackfeet Reservation and received my indigenous ancestry, French Cree, through my maternal great-grandmother, Susan Bigknife. In 1980, I created my company, Daystar Contemporary Dance Drama of Indian America. Being the first of its kind, the company was celebrated as the first to create and perform indigenous storytelling theater, grounded in what is now called Native Modern Dance. It was my training with Jose Limon in the early 1970s that led to my first work in modern dance with indigenous youth. You can only imagine my sense of awe and thankfulness to have Jose Limon present at a performance that was wholeheartedly sanctioned by the Lakota elders. Ten years later, Wolf, a transformation, was to become a signature piece of the Daystar Company. I salute the dancers who were able to understand and execute equally well indigenous dance, modern mime, and working in masks. This choreography was made possible only through the involvement of Anishinaabe elder Eddie Benton Benet. In No Home But the Heart, I searched through four generations of my family, great-grandmother, grandmother, mother and daughter, living from 1837 to 1970 to elucidate the history of 150 years of governmental intervention as it impacted the lives of Native peoples. It was on the occasion of achieving 70 years of age, however, that I felt the need to make a new statement about life, its changes, and challenges. Allegory of the Cranes is a personal story of ceremony and remembrance. It is set in two cultures, the Blackfeet of the Plains and the Pueblo of the Southwest. The Pueblo peoples tell us that one of the purposes of life is to find your face. In this story, the woman, Nitsitipi Aki, is seeking her face, her true identity. In a dream, the woman sees her many faces, but they have not coalesced into one true face. The Blackfeet tell us that the power of thunder, Kasitsikum, is able to interact with human beings. In a great thunderstorm, the woman is chased by thunder. At first, he delights and dances in his many faces, portrayed in five separate masks. But in his encounter with the woman, he initiates her quest. He gives two gifts, a beautiful coat and a hideous mask. This becomes the woman's struggle, but finally it is Thunder who frees her to realize her true face. Now he gives the final gift, two eagle fans to show her the way to the edge of the world. I consider Mr. Barry Lynn to be my primary dance mentor. Over the years, Several of my choreographies were begun in the beautiful Chalice Dream Studio in northern Wisconsin. Michael Duran and Mr. Lynn, professional partners, maintain the studio and welcome artists to work in this creative space. Allegory of the Cranes began there in 2010. Mr. Lynn, now 98 years of age, was present in 2011 at the Canadian premiere of Allegory of the Cranes, which took place at Nojem First People's Performance Space on the campus of Trent University. He had this to say of his impression of the work. I was very impressed because when... Uh, when Rosalie first started working with me, she was, a, she was shy of emotion. She was a little afraid of emotion. She didn't quite want, she didn't quite dare handle emotion, you know. And I've watched her through the, I've watched her through the years 
that we've known each other, and how she, how her, her heart has opened up more and more, and how her vision of life has grown and enlarged. And I hope it'll grow. I hope it'll grow on until she becomes a hundred. I want to see what she co choreographs at a hundred. <laughs> I intend to be there, honey, so I think I'm going to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> you watch me. <laughs> I'll be right yeah, there. I will no, be right I think I, I would so encourage everyone to come and see this whole program that she has characterized. She's covered a wide range of emotions, but her particular, in her particular solo, she is dealing with her life as she has seen it and known it. And she's speaking with authority because with the material she does, uses in her, that soul, she can honestly say, I, this happened to me. I am speaking true. I can speak truly to you because I had it happen to me. And that's what great choreography is. It was Black Elk of the Lakota who said, a human being who has a vision is not able to use the power of it until after they have performed this vision on earth for people to see. I am pleased to present Allegory of the Cranes.